Is Tom around? Yeah, can Tom was calling? Yes, ma'am. Hold on one second, Matt. Serious shit going on out in the West, man. Why? What's going on? The record it's Clinton like stepping in, so. What that? You see this Clinton steps in? Oh, yeah. You see this shit? Fucking nutty, huh? He's freaking telling Bonneville they have to max deliver whatever they can deliver. Yeah, that's a bunch of bullshit. You know what? You know what really pisses me off? Price caps. The price caps. You know what? Fucking bullshit. It would take care of all the wheat. Get them out. You you know what they're doing? They're selling the fucking fish in Oregon to uh, the state of California for fucking two hundred fifty dollars. They're oh yeah. You know yeah. What? because they're, because they're shutting off the spill. Yeah. They're, they're killing fucking killing fish, right? The fish. Yeah. Um. And there would be ample supply available at the right fucking price. Oh, sure there would. Yeah, you know, that's what we need to do. We need to get the fucking um. But you know what it also does? Environmentalists on this shit. What it also does is it it it, it weeds out the weak people in the market. You know. Get rid of them, and you know what? The people who are strong and understand how it works will stick around. And and yeah. no, prices aren't going to stay at a thousand bucks forever. Right. But it will until the people get out and know what the hell they're doing. Tell you what, you heard this here first. When Bush wins, caps are gone. That fucking Bill Richardson, he's fucking gone. That fucking uh, Clinton, he's fucking... All these fucking uh, socialists are gone. Yeah. You know who the biggest uh, single contributor to the Bush campaign is? You. <laughs> Enron. Enron. What? Enron. Is it Enron? Yeah. Jesus Christ. Is, it, is that true? Yeah, I think it is. The biggest single contributor. Yeah, the biggest Enron. corporate contributor to the... Holy... Is, uh, really? That's huge. <laughs> That's huge. Ken Lay's going to be Secretary of Energy. Get out of here. <laughs> no. <laughs> but, uh... Can you imagine that? Why not, though? Why not? It could be, right? Yeah. I mean, why not? Who, you know, who's to say? Why not? He could be. That would be awesome, actually. That would be... How great would that be for all the players in the market? It'd be great. I'd love to see Ken Lay be Secretary of Energy. We'd open these markets up? Yep. And you know what? If you don't know what you're doing, you're fucked. See ya. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a bunch of bullshit. Yeah. Where'd you see that Clinton was... Uh, just came out of Reuters. Clinton takes steps to East California power crisis. Yeah. There's no the headline crisis. before that is, California grid operators call stage two power emergency as reserves drop. Yeah. They're on the ropes today. I exported like fucking 400 megs. Wow. I bought it all. I'll see you guys. I'm taking mine to the desert. <laughs> Fuck them. Right? I think those gamblers in Las Vegas need the power more than you. Fuck them. I mean, yes, the fucking, you know where that spread went from? That spread what? was trading $80, and the cash market spread was, like, close to $100. It went to $30 in a matter of fucking as a smack, 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 smack. Well, when the, when the caps release came out? Uh-huh. Must have been good for your front short position. Yeah. Well, they, yeah, the front got fucking slow pretty good. They came off, like, $100. And, um, uh, but the, um, you know, the best thing about it is, like, now, like, all this stuff, I, you know what, already, I own 300, I own, like, 650 megs of trans uh, transmission uh -huh. going out of the state. Going to, going south, right? Uh, going to the desert. Yeah. Going, going to Powell, going to Four Corners, going to, uh, Las Vegas. Um... So any like any, even even any congestion like coming out of the state, I collect that. I, you know, we bought all these FTRs, these transmission rights. Uh -huh. So anytime there's like congestion on the line, I collect that money. So you know a lot of times they'll have like all these. You'll see like these. Uh, oh, if you tried to export it, they'll whack whack you, whack you with like you know 150 bucks of congestion charges. Um, I bought we bought these things called firm transmission rights that uh. So you you can trans you can tr transmit no matter what. Oh yeah. And you, and what and, and if there is congestion, you don't they, have to pay. They pay it. me. They they, they pay, pay you. Me. Yeah. They pay me for that. Oh shit! Well, how does that work? That's just the way those things are set up. Oh my god. Um, that's pretty yeah. sure. They're like they're like financial instruments. What you know what I mean? 
the base here's basically review along that spread. If there's any congestion, you collect it. Yeah. Wow. So we fucking export like a motherfucker. You getting rich? Trying to. I just yeah. You know what? Pisses me off so bad about fucking the fucking cabs. You can't. You limit your profit. Yeah. Completely fucks you. What? Completely screws you. Oh fucking hell. There's been. This is one of the largest single transfers of wealth that I've ever seen. Oh yeah. From the shareholders of the generators to the um, uh, shareholders of San Diego. Mm-hmm. I mean, what the fuck is that? It's just crap. It's completely crap. It's, it's, it just goes against everything our country is about. Yeah, I feel like we're in a third world world country. It's freaking no, There's no free market. Fuck me, free market. It's like a third world country. You go in, you do something, oh, you don't like the way it turns out, so you fucking change it. Change, change the rules, yeah, right? You just change it right in the middle of it. You know, you know, there's going to be some tons of lawsuits, right? Because all these people who came in a few years ago and bought up asset out there, uh-huh. they didn't buy those asset based on economics or price caps. No. You know, they well, bet on they bet on free market. Yeah. And they have very right to sue the hell out of those guys who who enforce those price caps. Yeah, no, I think so. And they're wrong. They can't do that. I mean, how could you change the rules again? Now. And people have invested, you know, billions. Yeah, we've traded, oh, you think how many derivatives we've fucking traded on this shit, man. We were long a fucking ton of 500 calls. Yeah, and and people have 50 calls. And, and they, they don't, they'll no longer exist. Yeah. So how, how can they do that? Yeah. Um, they can't do that, I don't think, really. I, 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 that's what I keep saying, and they said that fucking regulatory risk, man. Government can do whatever the fuck they want. Yeah, but they can also be sued. You can yeah. sue the fucking government. Fuck them. Um... Oh, we're gonna want. Well, there's all this stuff, and you know they talk about you know confiscation of power. They'll confiscate your power. You try to export it out of the state. They reach a stage three emergency. Yeah. And then we're just like, you know what? We'll see you in fucking court. Yeah, yeah. If you want the power, because we'll, with the only, caps. Not only is that that's just not right to fucking do. Yeah. But you sold me the firm fucking rights to do it. Yeah. I paid you a fucking fortune for the firm rights to fucking move it out of your state. Yeah. You know, that you sold them to me. You yeah. held an auction and sold them to me. Now yeah. you're just confiscating the power? Fuck out of here. It's going good for you. We just keep fucking exporting this shit. Yeah. And so we do every day. Just fucking export, export, export. That's great. You ought to see, you, ought to see the, you know what the congestion was going uh, north to south out to, uh, on the cob line? Coming, you know, the cob line that comes into California? On the yeah. Side? KV line? Yeah. Well, the, um, the, uh, the congestion on the northern inner town was, hold on. Hey, how much was the congestion at uh, Cobb today? What? South and north, two bucks maybe? How <laughs> much? Oh, what was the other one? Gotcha. Okay, then they, they revised it down. They have adjustment bidding. How much was it? Was it? Start. Oh, it was like, uh, it, wasn't, it was basically not even non-existent. Oh. Uh, um, let's see. Oh, 160, hold on. $163. There's the line that's taking it from uh, Pad 26, which is one of the lines that takes it north. There was... $186 congestion on that. So just to get up there, on yeah. top of the price you had to pay for the transmission and the power. Oh, that pay. just that's just the transmission. That's just for the transmission. If you're going, if no, you're that's on top of the transmission, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, if you, and while well, in California it's different, you can just move it where. No, you can move it wherever you want, but it's all based on uh, congestion pricing. Like, if there's no congestion, you can move your power anywhere in the state you want for free. Uh-huh. Basically. But if there's congestion, you start paying this shit. As long as the grid's cool, you're all, you're okay. But yeah, but you know what's fucked up about that? It's like, okay, here's a price cap, right? Mm-hmm. So you can't sell your power for more than 250 Yeah. But the congestion's 170 something Yeah. So you're really only selling your power for 75 bucks, right? Oh, yeah. That's crap. Yeah. This is the low shit. This is, I mean, this is, I mean, it makes me fucking sick to my stomach. I can't even, every time I like to think about it, man, 
I can't even fucking do it. How much money do you think this would cost you? Oh, it's cost me a lot. Millions? You know what? I'm scooping up every bit of fucking power I can take next summer. Those caps won't be there. They gotta come for it. I'm, I'm bet huge on the election. When this election comes, Bush will fucking whack that shit. Man. Yeah. He won't fucking play this price cap bullshit. Though I bet they impose a national price cap at a thousand dollars. Yeah, which you know what? That's fine. Yep. Thousand bucks, fine. That gives you room. No, I'm fucking scooping up every bit I can. You, are you, you know, must be pissed off. Oh, I mean, you guys must have some sure. serious lobbyists in D.C. Yeah. They got and, a lot of shit. And uh, I can't believe this shit's gone through. I can't either. It's a fucking... Well, I can't believe it's gotten back to been escalated to this point. You know what I mean? I mean yeah. Before, it, it seems like this is like this is like national news all over the fucking place. Like, I got an article... There's an article in the New York Times today. There was an article yesterday in the USA Today. Um... You know, Did an article ever come out in the Times about a... Yeah, actually, I have a few minutes to you. Did you get quoted? No, fuck. Fuck. Uh, what do you... Right. It's the stuff you talked about in there. Uh, I love it. He didn't really say a whole lot. I just sent it to you. Um, I just had skill and quote in there. Um, what's the I got this customer, man. Who's uh like Orange County in the making? Oh no way! Yeah, they're just trading their balls off. Oh yeah, I think government in, entity. Oh. Really? You think the guys hide and trade? Uh, I don't know. I'm not really sure. They call you direct. Uh, that's yeah. the guy you told me about. Like, uh, wish he'd share it with us. That guy. The other guy called. That guy was down. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. And so I'm not really sure, you know, what's going on, but. I mean, so fat fucking, like, when I did, when the deal, I said, oh, I'm about to do this deal or whatever we called earlier. I'm, like, right in the middle of fucking maybe doing, like, a long day to trade with him. And, uh, our lawyer's like, no, you have to get, like, approval from, we need to see, like, a letter from their lawyers saying that he's, um... It's okay to do? Mm-hmm, to do all these trades. Yeah, shit. Yeah, that's not like, good. I'm fucking like, man, you're cutting my fucking... <laughs> How much money did you make off of this guy? Oh, this tra- this one trade here alone, I made fucking like three hundred million. Oh, okay. We're not talking about like ten million. Oh no 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 no. Okay. <laughs> but he's just you know he's crossing bit offers. He's fucking. Just say it's whack your peeing off. This guy's exposed to the market that much and he goes bankrupt. Yeah. He's a government entity though. I guess they can go bankrupt too. Yeah, they can. <laughs> With the city of uh. City of um, Springfield. Springfield. Yeah. Bizarre. It almost feels like you know you read on the stuff like in uh, you know Liars Poker and uh, somebody will write a book about this shit one day. Oh yeah. I think. Yeah. You know, electricity regulation. You'd be like, man, the good old days when so and so was fucking. I mean, when they blew up, a Vista blew up. They're fucking. Maybe the you. Up. Maybe it'll be you guys writing the book if you're up a billion bucks at the end of this year. <laughs> Billion dollars is like a lot of dough. Yeah. I'd buy the book. Fucking buy it. <laughs> Not if you wrote it though. Um. So what are you up to? Uh, I'm getting a little whacked here. Are you? Yeah. Chopped around? Yeah, I'm working just choppy. I mean, I'm bullish. This freaking thing just won't, won't stay up. It keeps coming off on me. Um. The West man is strong. You gotta love the West. Oh, I mean, unbelievable. West is strong. I mean, yeah. hot as shit right now in the East. It's gonna be hot in, uh, here all weekend. Hot in Texas. I started doing the math today on um, like the QRQ ones have been fucking lagging behind everything. They've got these uh, um, pollution credits in California. Yeah. And um, these things have gone from like trading one dollar. They're trading like forty dollars. <laughs> What kind of credits? Um, they're like NOx credits, pollution credits. Or yeah. Whatever. And um, these. Well, you guys don't burn any coal. No, but the gas generators have to have them. Why? Um, just for for what it's like these units that are like these inefficient units or whatever these peaking units. They send pollution into the air. Mm-hmm. Huh. The gas units still pollute. Yeah. They're just the clean Low. And the lesser yeah. of the evils. Too much from a dollar to forty dollars. Yeah. And so Do you have any? I mean, it's adding like fucking ridiculous amounts to the fucking price of power, man. And 
So I just started looking. I was going, fuck, these guys are getting short these credits. They're going to be running fucking gas. All the hydro is going away. Oh, fuck, Q1, where is it? <laughs> fucking buy them, buy them, buy them, buy them, buy them. You get them bought? Yeah. Bought like 300 mags. Did you run it up pretty good? Pretty good. I mean, push the thing up like two and a half dollars. Man. Um, but it's like, man, that's 50 something dollar of power. Anything with a four handle, you almost have to buy. Wow. You know what I mean? Even off peak. Oh, yeah. So like anything with a fucking three handle on it. I mean, I'll count your off peak one from just like 34 bit and a half. I'll like tell you what. 36 to 38 now. We're not going to have any gas at the end of this winter. Really? Yeah, it's going to be fucking dry as a bone. We're going to go into the gas season, the lowest we've ever had we should going be into the next winter. Summer then, huh? What's that? We should be buying next summer. Oh, I think next summer is going to rip. I mean, rip like you've never seen anything rip. It's going to be sick how fucking well bid that thing's going to be. Because we're going to we're going to come into out of the winter like below a TCF storage, and we've never done that before. And we got a lot more gin coming on next year. Oh yeah. So, I mean, shit, what are people going to do? I mean, they're going to scramble for gas in April, and that's going to happen early. I mean, that probably start happening in November and December. Uh-huh. That shit starts tearing up. So, you're, I, mean, I mean, your q one's going to rock, and your Q2's going to rock, too. Your Q2's going to rock huge. April, Q2's May, up too April May, June. Yeah. That's going to be fun. strong. Wow. Fucking hope. Because you got to get hot fucking. early. Yeah. And you, you can't expect anything but a normal. I tell you what, if we come in underneath water, low water shit next year, yeah, this fucking grid, man, is done. Oh, there's so many things that can happen next I year. Th- I, I mean, found out also there's like a thousand megs of generation that was supposed to be coming on this one plant um, in the west in like uh, California. Mm. It's supposed to be on in August. It's not going to make it to like uh, probably like November to January. Fuck. See, but I can, I can guarantee you, and there's nothing going to change this, no matter what the price gas does in the next two weeks. Yeah. We will be short gas for the winter, and we'll be short gas for next summer. Wow. There's no question about that. That's the funny thing. It's like, sometimes it's like, oh, if I can like the price. You know what? Nothing is changing the fundamentals. I know. I, Any I'm, fucking regulatory thing you can put in place isn't going to change the demand. I imagine, I mean, I don't know what your guys are, but I imagine your, your, your gas guys are fucking long. Yeah, I, th- I, think they, I think they really like this thing. Yeah. I mean, every time I hear them, I'm just like, oh, the West. I don't know about the, you know, IMAX, but she looks at the fucking basis, man. That's yeah. Like, blowing out. You know. I mean, uh, I mean, it's really blowing out, but this cash is strong. You know what Permian traded today? Almost flat to the hub. Oh, really? Cash. Flat. Wow. Our hub's not even trading flat to the hub. <laughs> I mean, the pipes around there are getting whacked. And you got the Permian trading flat. So, uh, that's one thing I'm certain of is that next summer, people will be scrambling for gas. And this winter, if we, it, even if it's a normal winter, you know, below normal, we'll make it through status quo and prices will probably still be strong. Mm-hmm. Just because of fear it might get cold. But if it's just normal, we're not going to have enough gas. Um, we haven't had a normal winter in three years. Yeah, pretty much. It's setting everyone up a little bit, you know. You kind of get lulled into it just a little bit. It's like, oh, it's not going to be that hot. I mean, get that cold. Or it's like, oh, it's not that big of a problem. Yeah. You know? It's like, okay, it's not that big of a problem, but look at storage. It keeps getting worse. And when you have 0.7 TCF in the ground next April and you got to fill up to 3 BCF, 3 TCF, and there's no way you're going to do that where you're going to get your gas. Yeah. You're just not going to get it. you got to fucking rally it. Well, that's why I'm bullish. Plus, you know, for us, we're coming into, we haven't had one storm this year. Mm-hmm. Not one. And we're expected to have 12. So regardless if they do anything, they're going to start brewing up and getting people on bullish. Yeah. If, God forbid, you had a storm that affected production, this market would just tear, tear. All the needs of any bulls that choose to go up. Q2 could be good next year, then. 
No, I think Q2 is going to rock for you guys. Rock. Now, that, well, you know, the one place the west, the west where there is a decent amount of gas is out west. I mean, relatively. They had a two draw this week. I mean, relatively. I'm yeah, saying, yeah, yeah. Relatively, the rest of the country, they are. Uh, they have more in the ground than most other places, but they're still not. You know, Tom seems really bullish on it. Really bullish. Really. positions and that's long and flat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you be short, you know, it's not for that long. You get flat. Yeah. If you get short, you got half your length. Yeah. <laughs> that's right. the way to get short. Right. Save yourself some money on the downside. Yeah. Um Oh shit. I gotta go into this fundamental meeting. What is it for? Fundamental. We have it out twice a week. Oh that's good. I wish we had something like that. Um, yeah, you just throw stuff out on the table. Yeah, we got we got a water to look at, the weather, skill, all this shit. That's good. So anyway, you have a good night. All right, goodbye. Bye.